Da, 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 da. Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. This is an impromptu crafty scre crafty stream. Crafty scream. No. It's um an impromptu crafty stream, crochet stream, whatever you want to call it. Um I was just in the mood to do something like this, something more chill. Um, I've been kind of all over the place lately um, when it comes to like my personal mood. So I wanted to do something to just kind of unwind, relax, and not be thinking about all the dumb stuff that I'm constantly obsessing over. So this is my way of doing that. Um, I worked earlier today and I don't usually stream on Wednesday. But um, I decided it would be probably a good idea just to just to get my mind in a better place, I guess. So uh, I'm gonna start some music here, um, and I'll be crocheting today. I will be. I showed this off last time. Um, I'm making keychains for my Etsy store, and I have several merchandise over there where you can't see. That is being worked on but I thought that I would try and make um, you know I'm all for like a severed head keychain but I thought that I would try and make some of these um, into full-size plush dolls so um, blue bears outfit is significantly easier to crochet than pinkies so I figured I would do her instead because um, I also made a pinky head which I really really like but I feel like I would I'd have to figure out the, um, I'd have to figure out the pattern, um, which wouldn't be a, a huge deal, it's just I know that Blue Bears is really easy. So, okay, sorry, I meant to, uh, yeah, I meant to tweet about this, so, um, hot, cool. All right, there we go. So, uh, make sure that everything has gone through. What is, oh, okay. All right, um, oh, awesome Aaron, 3463, welcome to the stream. Um, it's really quiet. I wanna get some music started. I uploaded a video, oh my, oh wow, I didn't expect that, go for Alex with that resub, nine month hype, thank you so much for the sub, uh, welcome back to the Ba family, um, nine months, I think that gets you to Mistar now, you were Skolar, weren't you, now you're gonna be, well, actually you probably bumped up to, um, Muscular. Now you're Miss Star. So, what up, Daisy Maze? What's up, Pixie? What's up, um, the Bella Dragon? How's it going? Um, awesome, Aaron. It has been a while. Good to see yo. Uh, anyway, I made a top ten Animal Crossing songs. My top ten Animal Crossing songs in the series so far. I made a video of that that went up yesterday on my YouTube channel, so I'm going to play that in the background for this first bit here. Um, and then it looks like it wants to autoplay my Let's Play project after that, which we're not going to do. We're going to play some music. Um, but yeah, check that out. It's just my top ten favorite songs in the series so far. Probably mention why as each of them play today. And, um... Other than that, yes, I did this. It's a top 10. It went up on March 10th, which was 10 days before Animal Crossing New Horizons released. So it was on purpose. So I thought that was, was a little Easter egg of an idea with that. But yeah, go for you muscular for a brief second. But yeah, um, and your, the current hive train conductor as well. But yeah. Oh, it's 1.53 a.m. Well... Aw, thank you so much, the Bella Dragon. I appreciate that. It's been a rough time. It's been a rough, like, week and a half. It's just been weird. Which, February was really weird, too. March has been better overall, but it's also had its weirdness. So, let me get this where it's not silent. Oh! 
Sorry, I, I made this video and then I like forgot what order everything is in, so I'm just like, oh my god, yes. Um, so this is 1am snow from Animal Crossing City Folk. I picked the snow version purposely because because hip hop is an attitude. Is an attitude. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Bella Dragon! Thank you so much for the sub. Um, and, or go for really. Thank you so much for the sub. I see that's a gift sub now. So welcome to the Ba family. Thank you, go for. That's holy crap. That's your 60th gift sub. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Seriously. And Stardev94, welcome. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be adding a body to Blue Bear. And so how I do this, and I'm gonna angle the camera down a little bit. This is just super cash mode too. This isn't like a you know prof shot from behind type of VOD, so um, if things get too high or can't see something, just let me know. Uh, Alpha Master 45, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. All right, so in honor of Blue Bear being the first and most important member of uh, my Moonbeam town, my Wild World town, which I played on today, it's pretty funny um, because here New Horizons is coming out and I'm like, all right, time to play wild. <laughs> time to play wild world, guys. Um, it's been so fun though, cause it's so simple and it's fun to start over. Like I have gotten in such a, a space with my New Leaf Towns that it's just like, you know, I, I can't, I can't really do much with them anymore. So it's like, it's nice to start over on a game where there's less to do before we enter the game where there is going to be a phenomenal amount of more to do. Um, but yeah, this song right here, uh, this is 8 p.m. from Animal Crossing for GameCube. And this is, if I had to pick, this would probably be my favorite. This would probably be number one for me. Um, it sounds so festive and so cute. It just sounds like nightlife to me, like when you're having a really good night and things are fun and fabulous and, you know, it just, it sounds like such a, a comforting but festive and adorable little song. So that's why I like it. Um, but yeah. Oh, your favorite star spirit, Mamar, yes! But thank you, Stardev. I appreciate it. Mario Gamerville, what's up? Welcome to the stream and Sativa Sins 420. How's it going? Did I get her a pill bug? I did not. She asked for one again today. Again! I'm like, can you stop asking me for these dumb pill bugs? I don't have a shovel, so I can't hit a rock. I can't make a pill bug appear. It's terrible. I went fishing, though, and I managed to catch a... This was like not even that far into my catching for the day. I was like, okay, and it was in the evening and I was like, oh, well, are there like sharks in this game? Like in New Leaf and I caught a football fish and I'm like, this is like one of those deep water weird like lit fishes. I'm like, dang it, I want to sell this to Nook so badly so I get money, but nah, I had to give to the museum. This song is fantastic too. This is another 8 p.m. song from Big City Folk. Um, and it's the same kind of like mellow vibe. Like, it's not as festive, but it's very mellow. Like, all right, we're going in for the night. We're gonna get comfy. Just has that vibe, I love it. Okay, so I just added the neck uh, to Blue Bear. But yeah. Um, you finished watching the rest of Eternal Star? Aww. You feel that I should incorporate Ba into my island? I've thought about it, but I, I, I want it to be like, I don't know. I, I just want it to be very much like a, a cute name in a way. Not that Ba isn't cute, I guess, but I'm, 
I've got some ideas, but nothing that I'm like super set on, I guess. Um, but yeah. Anyway, man, this takes me back. 8 p.m. was prime Animal Crossing play time for you. I guess it was for me too, weirdly. Be even though I was like never home at 8 p.m. That must have been the time I skipped to a lot. Um, but yeah. Whoa, is that a midwinter K man? Yeah, big crochet gaming. Sorry, I got like awkwardly silent because I had to count for a second. Uh, yeah, big crochet gaming. <laughs> big, big silence stream. Um, dang K man, I haven't seen you in a while. Big, um, I hope you've been living the big bachelor life. Okay, I'm going to increase to 18. I have 16 now, so isn't that a hot little piece of commentary? But yeah, I don't know. The 8 p.m. songs are like really nostalgic for me. Like I must have played at 8 p.m. at some point, even though I was like always not home and definitely not gaming at 8 p.m. most days. Um, Cause that's like prime, that would have been like prime dance rehearsal time. So, um, let's see, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll increase up at the front here. Guys, I want to go to Japan so badly. Apparently not right now because of freaking coronavirus, but whoa, go for with that gift sub to Kirby Kart 64. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Um, welcome to the Ba family. Kirby, oh, sorry, Kirby 641. I don't know why I just said Kirby 64. I'm in my Let's Play groove, I guess. Um, thank you so much, go for seriously and um. Yeah, welcome to the, the Ba family. K-Man, you didn't watch this season? And yes, Pixie, I do mean watching The Batch. Has anybody watched The Bachelorette? Bachelor this season? I think it's The Bachelor this time, isn't it? Some dude. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I know, big coronavirus. It's like, why? Why does something like this exist right now? It's really irritating. Actually, my sister, um, not Madame Toadstool, but one of my other sisters has plans to go to Japan at the end of next month. So uh, she's really hoping that things die down by then or like, you know, get under control. Otherwise her tri trip might be canceled. I mean, all for good reason if it is, but like, it just sucks. Master Mr. B, welcome to the stream. You're not feeling well? Well, I hope you feel better. Um, I hope you feel better, for sure. Yeah, this is a classic. This is my favorite song from New Leaf. And it's the only one that, like, was on... Well, it's the only one that broke the top 10 for me from New Leaf, just because it's like such, oh, I love the song. I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, what the heck? At first I was like, well, this sounds depressing. And then I was like, oh my God, this song is beautiful. Like, I just got like obsessed with it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, never mind. I love this song. And it became kind of the, the staple of my Let's Play. Like at the end of every episode, this is the song that would close it out. So very nostalgic for me for that reason as well. Um, but yeah. Okay. So. But yeah, th this really is like the song that's like, okay, it's nighttime now. We're gonna, we're gonna chill out. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It is really different compared to the other New Leaf songs. And New Leaf has some great songs. It's just I prefer the other soundtracks to most of their songs. Like this song, for example. This is 5 p.m. from Animal Crossing for GameCube. Uh, 
yes. Okay, I was like, where's the beginning of my row? Blue Bear's getting a little neck. Um, but yeah. Mr. Bandy Power 75, what's up? Um, you saw this really funny autocorrect on Facebook where someone's grandma was texting him, can you look at my crotch? Oh my god! Wow, that's really funny. That's pretty funny. Um, my favorite KK song? This is the thing, too. None of the KK songs were better than these songs for me. So I was like 100% like, okay, um, I'm just gonna go with what I know I I love, and I, I know I prefer these to the KK songs. Because one would have been on here if I was really that into it, but um, my favorite KK song is probably KK Fair. Um, I love KK Fair, especially the um, air check version. So, that's my favorite one, even though Odie has tried to ruin it for me multiple times. I'm like, why are you trying to ruin this for me? Like, I don't care what you say. It doesn't sound like some other song. He's like, this sounds exactly like this song that you've never heard before. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> it does not sound like that. Like, what are you saying? So, I don't know. But I'm like, you're just, you're wrong. That's just too bad. Um... But yeah. Anyway, pineapple for fun, how's it going? Sup, girl? Has anybody gotten their favorite Animal Crossing villager? Well, I definitely have, which we all, we all know for the most part. Um, okay, so I've started row, this row unintentionally. Okay, so I think I'm going to start widening out Blue Bear's base. The outfit's going to be a lot easier than the base. Uh, just because of the nature of it. Mm. Let's see. Hold on, I have to count on this round, so. And there's 21, so I just increased from 18 to 21. Woo, getting bigger. Um, anyway. Just had some big anxiety after playing online and someone began screaming vulgar things at you. Yikes, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that that happened. Um, wow. Go for it. You're not the first person who has said that Joey is their favorite. I actually know a lot of people where Joey is literally their favorite. Uh, which is funny because I never had any particular connection to him. He was never one that I was like, oh, Joey, you know, but, um, sorry. I think I may have left my- nope, here it is. I was like, I feel like I left my little scrap yarn that I use over yonder. Um, but anyway, yeah, like, I, I'm not, like, I, I've never even, like, knew who Joey was. <laughs> I guess I've just never had him in my town or anything, but I, apparently a lot of other people have, and he's a pretty big fan favorite, as far as I can tell. I know I did a contest. Um, back in the days of, it was either my, I think it was my original LP, it may have been City Folk. It was one of the two, because they were like literally back to back within, you know, a year of each other. May have been City Folk now that I'm thinking about it, but, um, yeah, I, I did a contest and whoever won got a little plushie of whatever character they wanted and the person chose Joey. So I remember that. Um, but yeah, also... I'm going back because I missed a bunch of comments. Uh, but yeah. Pixie, you sure have. 
You got their mule cards, so you get them whenever you feel the need. Slim gave them to me. Nice. Um, first mag. I also hope to have Joey on my island. Joey Wheeler. What the heck? <laughs> what is your favorite? Wait, Pixie. I should know your favorite. I probably do, and I'm just like not remembering. Your favorite's like Bobo or somebody. Um, oh my gosh, I love Chief. Alpha Master 45, I love Chief. Chief's my OG grumpy villager. He's the OG deep voice villager for me because he was the first one I ever met that was like that. And I was like, oh my god, this guy's so angry. But he said the cutest stuff. And my character's name, my original character was Beffy. And when they pronounced my name, it came out Beef. Which is funny because my sister called me Beef for the longest time. Uh, that was my nickname forever. She called me Beef. And... It was even more funny by the fact that, like, not only was I a vegetarian and unable to even eat beef even if I wanted to, because my system didn't really tolerate that, um, it was just like, she had come up with the nickname, it was like while we were playing Mario Golf, she accidentally said my name wrong and it came out beef. Um, but, yeah, so, I just remember she every time. Check out this letter from Boof. Like, yes, Chief. And then I made, um... I thought it was Rodeo, but he doesn't have a deep voice, so... Oh, it was Rasher! I made Rasher say Sexy Beast in my Wild World Town, which is always, like, the first catchphrase I give to somebody when I get the option. This time I gave it to Blue Bear because she asked me, like, today. <laughs> um... But yeah, so... Sexy Beast sounds really funny when they say it as well. Rolly64, how's it going? Double sister stream. I know, it was funny. I didn't know that my sister was streaming tonight, and she didn't know that I was streaming tonight, which I don't know if she, sched she has, like, a scheduled Wednesday night stream. She might. I don't, so I, I don't blame her for not knowing. Um... Your sister sent Chief a love letter, and he moved out the next day! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's awesome. That's so dumb. Yeah, your fear is so doomy. So many dumb. Dumb memes. So much fun, though. Um. Okay, we're approaching Blue Bear's bum. So... Again, this is a, a row where I'm increasing my number of stitches, so if I'm quiet, it's because I just have to count out this row really quick. Alright. There we go, that's 24 stitches around. And I think that... Uh, well... I think, yeah, that's gonna be Blue Bear's size. Ugh, this is the title to Animal Crossing Wild World. It's the same as City Folk, except the, the audio inputs are a little bit different, so like, I prefer this version. It just has more nostalgia for me, personally. I like the, almost like the twanginess of it, um, better than City Folk's version. Which that reminds me, you guys remember when I like LP'd City Folk and my disc was defective? I didn't realize it because I got it used like the year before that um, and never tested it or anything. So day of when I'm supposed to start this recording, I'm like, um, well this is really cool, but I guess my disc is broken. That was so stupid. Um, it was actually pretty good timing, though, because by that point, 
the Nintendo Selects had just been released, and so Animal Crossing City Folk was 20 bucks. So I was like, okay, thank god, it's not like a $40 game. Which was like the full price at the time. Now it's 60. Um, but yeah. Big six. Armand 2017, how's it going? This is the rainy day music from Animal Crossing GameCube before they just made rainy versions of all the songs per hour, all the hourly songs, which I think is adorable, by the way. Uh, rain had its own song, so when it started raining, uh, the song playing in town would change. So I think that's super, super cute, super fun. And I love this song. It just reminds me of that. And it's, it's such a cute little, like, quirky song. All the characters busting out their umbrellas, you know. And they're like, it's really coming down! And it's like, you're the one standing out here with your umbrella. Go in your house. You're, like, right outside of it. I never understood, but... Oh, thank you. I'm glad you, you like my Sailor Moon shirt. Odie got this from me from... Or, from me. Odie got this for me at Con Bravo a couple years ago. Uh, Con Bravo was, like, connected to a mall. The, the hotel slash convention center that hosted the event was connected to this, like, shady underground mall. And in it, um, is my favorite, my favorite Canadian retailer, which is Ardeen. And so... They have to have Sailor Moon shirts, so I'm like, all right, let's do this thing. Um, which I, like, never see if I do. It'd be, like, a hot topic for, like, 60 bucks or something stupid. So, yeah, big Ardeen. Um, but, yeah. I love the GameCube Animal Crossing as well, Pineapple. It's just so cute. Like, it, it's it's cuter than the other games for some reason. I don't know if it's because everybody's, like, shorter and fatter and, like, the gameplay simpler and you can just run errands all day or what, but... Yeah, real talk, what a weird place for a con. It's true. Um, K-Man, I don't know if you've seen, like, any of the updates about Con Bravo. Uh, I have no idea how much you pay attention to that, but, like, I guess I was on the email list... Um, which you might have been too, I don't know. But anybody who's on the email list, like, got the news that they're like, oh, we're leaving Hamilton. And I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, honey, what a sad, what a shame. Oh my God, Hamilton's like an armpit. I'm like, thank God. And then of course there are all these people apparently that were on Facebook. Odie was telling me that we're like, oh, well, now you're making it impossible for me to travel there. I'm like, dude, it's Hamilton. Like, if it's that easy for you to travel to Hamilton, you need to move. Like, that crap is low. Like, no, don't do it. Um, seriously, everybody was, everybody smoked, which was a problem because I hate the smell of cigarette smoke. <laughs> And everybody on the street was homeless, and they were all, like, schizophrenic, too. And I'm like, these people need to be, like, in treatment. Like, I, I have nothing against, like, people who have a mental disability or, like, some kind of, like, mental illness. But it needs to be treated. It can't just go to the street. And then they're all in the same place, weirdly. I'm like, um, is anybody helping these people? Like, what is this? So it was really sketchy, like, at the same time. I'm like, um, maybe we shouldn't have a convention in Hamilton, guys. But yeah, it was like an armpit. Everybody was homeless. Everybody smoked. It was dirty. Um, and yeah, there's like this shady underground mall that's connected. And it had really a really strange assortment of stores. Especially for the crowd that was like around... <laughs> I don't know, I probably sound super judgy, but it's just like one of those things where it doesn't feel safe, it doesn't feel clean, it just feels strange. But it was an experience. I had so much fun at that, that hotel and that convention. Like, I really did have a blast. And the hotel was clean and felt safe and all that. It was just like if you went outside of the general area that the convention was held in, then it got real shady real fast. <laughs> so, but yeah. Armand, I also have to work tomorrow. They they haven't decided where they're going. They have no idea what they're, where they're going, what they're doing. 
um, they're like, oh, well, we might go to these three areas, which all three sound significantly better than Hamilton. So, uh, one is Guelph, Ontario, which is, like, closer to Toronto, so I feel like that'd be easier for travel for, I guess Hamilton had its own airport, but a lot of people I knew flew into Toronto anyway, so it's like, oh god, no, we're not gonna play my Let's Play. Okay, hold on, let me get an Animal Crossing soundtrack up. Um, I feel like it would be a good, a good option. But then another area was Burlington, which is where it was like the first year. Um, and then the third option is Niagara Falls, which would be a cool like tourist location. Okay, we're just gonna start this playlist. Great, okay. Um, yeah, an underground mall does sound like a very strange thing, and it was. It was. Um, can we listen to one of my anniversary specials? Absolutely not, but nice try. I appreciate your enthusiasm, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. But yeah. Yeah, Burlington Coat Factory. Also, Valentine2411, welcome to the stream. Or, sorry, welcome to the pimp zone. Thank you for the follow. And I guess presumably welcome to the stream as well. Joel Teron, how's it going? But. <laughs> well, thanks, Bella. I appreciate that. But yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well. Uh... Okay, I don't know what I want to do for the legs yet. She's pretty skinny legs. So I'm going to... I'm going to decrease one more time. Sorry, I'm just figuring this out. Um, but yeah. Yeah, don't you guys love that kind of commentary where I just sing really terribly? Like, terribly on purpose, though. Don't be fooled. It's a purpose, kind of. Purposeful, terrible. Okay. Da 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 da. Well, speak of the devil, we just heard this. This is like a different version, though. It's like an orchestrated version or something. It's really pretty. I think that this particular playlist does have, like, orchestral versions and remixes in, like, mixed in with the other parts of the soundtracks. So. Okay, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so there's Blue Bear's little bod. And I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crochet a leg directly. You're probably like, what? <laughs> okay. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see, one. This part's gonna take just a tiny bit more concentration, so give me one second, guys. Okay, so I have six, seven, eight for the legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, X, it's Tyler. Um, Waluigi girl, thank you for the the host. <laughs> yeah, where's Bloomer's beefy biceps? Well, she doesn't have any arms yet, so... A little hard to get beefy biceps without any arms. Okay, we have... What was that? One, two? Okay. Once I get this started, it'll be fine. Three... Another X, it's Tyler, the Bella Dragon. Thank you for the host. Five. Why can't I count to six? Uh. Yeah, so I made like a little crotch, so that's why I've got to be like on fleek. Do people still say on fleek? I don't know. I don't work with teenagers every day anymore, so I'm not. I'm not as hip as I was. Oh, oh, the 
the Roost Cafe, the Starbucks of Animal Crossing. I wish that my baristas cared enough or as much about their coffee as um, Brewster does. Okay, why did I make this the tiniest stitch ever? I have to use a different hook to get in there. You love my TSS alerts? Like my porn alert? Is that what you're talking about? Why can I never find the one thing I'm looking for? Thank you. Okay. But yeah. Um. Don't my, don't the hip kids tell their parents that it's totes fleek and then dab and floss their teeth? I bet they do. I bet that's exactly how it goes. You got it. <laughs> okay, I hate this song. This is on like every Animal Crossing playlist ever made. I don't mean to use the word hate because I know it's a strong word, but like, I really, really highly dislike that song. It's like the most depressing Animal Crossing song. And they're all like, wow, this is such a relaxing meditation. I'm like, no, I don't like it. It's poopy stink, and it makes me feel like, you know, I want to die, so let's not listen to it. Which is why I've switched it to this much better song. Okay, I'm serious. I love this song. This is one of my favorites. This is not my favorite version of this song, but it is one of my favorite songs. Because we just heard it on my list. This one stitch has taken me like five minutes. Why? Because I made it too small in the first place. Don't make your stitches too small. Okay, great. Oh, it should be a lot better from here. One, two, three, four, and four. Five, six, seven, there we go, eight. Wow, don't make your stitches too small or you will be angry at yourself later. Okay, so that's two rows, probably do... Uh, how many rows do I want to do with this? Um, she has kind of stubby legs, like stubby short legs, so we don't want to make them too long. We don't want them to be too short either. But yeah. When you get a car, you're going to say to people, get in losers, we're going New Horizons. Are you getting a car before March 20th? Because otherwise that might be an out, you might be outdated. You might not be hip with all the kids. <laughs> um, that was something I asked my students once though. I was like, hey guys, is Mean Girls like cool for you guys? Like, is that like a movie that you're really into? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, that's so weird. Cause like, this was a movie that came out when I was at like the end of middle school or something. Um, I think I was in eighth grade when it came out, seventh or eighth grade. And I remember all my friends telling me about it because they were like, oh my God, did you see this movie that's about this homeschooled girl? It made me think of you. I was like, oh, sweet. Um, and then it turned out to be like one of the greatest teen movies of all time. But it was like, you know, present day growing up with that. It's like funny to think that people who were like 10 years younger than me are still just as hyped for that movie. It's like, that is what we call a classic ladies um but yeah streamers hate them the secret song to put on your playlist that doctors don't want you listening to solid um clickbait title but yeah i think they call the donation sub alerts tss on switch Tw switch yeah they called that on switch wow i'm hip um but yeah 
Like, you like, okay, pineapple, you like really depressing stuff, so there you go. Um, but yeah. Um, I honestly forgot how to crochet, so pretty sure screwing up a stitch won't happen. All right. What's up, Gamer Michael 1996 Welcome to the, the stream de la stream. But yeah. Um, I feel like I've only seen- I'm thinking about, like, teen movies now. I feel like I've only seen Clueless, like, twice, maybe? Once and one and a half times? I don't know. Um, I find it really, really funny, though, that the heartthrob in that movie is Paul Rudd. I'm like, wow, this is Paul Rudd before he was, like, in comedic roles. Um. <laughs> what a- what a weird, uh... What a weird factor. He's in this classic movie. Um, but yeah, every time I see- uh, or every time I've seen parts of Clueless, I've, like I said, I've only seen it in full like one time. But when I see parts of it, it's just not as good as Mean Girls. I guess it was like a big deal back in the day, but it wasn't like people my age were still really into it and talking about it, I guess. So I'm like, uh, That one kind of faded more for me, guys. Personally. You know what I didn't do the other night, which I meant to do? I, maybe I'll do this tonight, because I feel like it would help me, like, not be so, like, down in a funk, but... Freaking Sonic! Sonic X or whatever is on Netflix, according to people, so I'm like, uh, I gotta watch it. Gotta go fast. So I can pretend like it's Saturday morning and, like, you know, high school again. <laughs> I don't know, this is what people were telling me, K-Man, and I'm like, I have to watch Sonic X if it's on there. I freaking loved Sonic X. That was every Saturday morning for me. It's like, well, <laughs> that's what I'm doing later. I said that's what I was doing later, and then I totally didn't because I went to bed, like, later than I should have. Because I had to get up for work stupidly early. That was like one of those nights I stopped streaming and then like two hours passed. I sneezed and two hours were gone. I was like, uh, what? Where'd my time go? This isn't what I agreed to. Hold on, two, three, four, five. I'm on my fifth, um, fifth row of blue. We have to do like a row or two of white. Is this too long? Mm, I don't. I'm gonna go all the way around and then decide if that's too freaking long or not. Um, but yeah. I never saw the Sonic movie. I don't even know if it's still in theaters, but I didn't have anybody to go with, and then I also just didn't ever make the time to go. Um, actually, I probably could have dragged my friend to it. If I would have said to one of my best friends, like, hey, I, you gotta go see this movie with me, she'd be like, whatever. Um, she would have gone. But guess what? I didn't, so that didn't happen. Um, that's what I heard. I heard it was actually really good. And I love Jim Carrey, and she does too. So I feel like that's why she'd be like, okay, I'll go. But I heard it was really good. I'm glad that they took the time to redesign Sonic and make him into a man. Not the weird, like... I don't even know what to describe it as because he just looked so bizarre and not like himself before. Like, how did they not catch that? How were they like, well, this looks like a good design. Like, I feel kind of bad because it's like, you know, somebody did put work into that and they were probably really proud of it and then it gets all this criticism. But at the same time, it kind of deserved it. It was like, uh, yeah, you missed it. I don't know how nobody on the team for this movie was like, uh, dude, your design... Or chick, whoever you are, your design needs work. Because that's not going to work. That That's really bad. So, I don't really understand how it got to the, like, trailer point. Strange. It's really good if you're, like, super into memes. Well, I am, so that would work. That would work for me. Oh my god, go for you got you. You've got to see Detective Pikachu. I mean, I can speak for that one because I loved it. I saw that and I was like obsessed with it. Um, it was like my whole world growing up. Apparently the artist had that as the original design 
and then corporate marketing made them change it? Like they had the, according to rumors you've heard, so like they had the um, design that they ended up going with in the end, like as the original design, and corporate was like, no, make it this really crappy version or other way around. Because... In one of these scenarios, the artists are smart, and in the other, they're not. So I'm like, what? Which one's which? This song is like also kind of depressing, but I like it a lot more than that other one. I can actually like get into this song. Okay, is that a solid white foot? Um, they had the good design. That's what I figured you were saying. That's what I figured you were saying because I was like. Okay, unless the artists were, like, insane, there's no way that, that that makes a lot more sense for it to be like, hey, they had this actual good design, and then guess what? Well, then good. They got their, like, they were probably like, haha, I told you so, when people were like, no, what is this? Um, I'm worried that this is going to be too, this is what it looks like so far, guys. I'm worried that this is going to be kind of... Kind of long, but we'll see. My scissors. Okay, so in that little chunk of time, we managed to make a bod and a leg. So we've got to add the other leg after this. I'm adding one more row of white and then this leg's going to be done. I'm going to see if it's too long with the second row of white though. Because if it is, then I'll take it out and be, be done. Uh, two more. Oh my god, this is that depressing song again! No! Oh, I love this song. Hold on, we're going back. Whoa. Okay, good. Um. What? Oh my god, the art studio went bankrupt right after Sonic release. How? Didn't they do, like, really well with the movie? Like, that's terrible. Wow. That's like not a happy thing to hear. Here's all, you know, here's this like successful thing that you did and then bankrupt. Okay, I think it's okay. You guys are probably like, what the? Now this is the story of my teenage, er, the story, the song. One of those songs of my Let's Play and of my teenage years, because this is like one of those mid-afternoon songs. <laughs> they were contracted by Sega, so they weren't seeing profits from the actual movie. Oh, that sucks. I mean... Yeah, I guess that's true. I'm not sure how... I hope it wasn't related. I hope it wasn't like, oh... Well, they, like, caused you to go bankrupt because of the movie or whatever, but it doesn't seem like that would be the case. That seems kind of silly. Um, but yeah, that's really, actually really sad to hear. I wonder why. Okay. I didn't bring any stuffing out here. Which would have been smart, but I didn't do it. So I'll have to go grab some in a second. Um, you kind of like that one song I don't like, but it depends on the mood, yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm taking this little booty marker out. I'm gonna grab my stuffing from over yonder. my kitty went. She was out here like right before I started streaming. Where are you? Where'd you go? Why'd you leave? Okay, I have 
a little bit of like scrap stuffing. Uh. Oh, um, Carrie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. Okay, why can I not find the stuffing? I'm like upcycling stuffing from like an old pillow I made. Okay. Um, the depressing song kind of reminds me of like the aftermath of a freaky disaster or something. See, that's terrible. I don't want to think about that. Um, oh my god, I remember you from my teen years watching you play Animal Crossing on YouTube. That's awesome. Oh, I love stuff like that. Thank you for, for sharing that with me and for stopping by and following and everything. See, we get teen year... Uh, Animal Crossing hype, and now we get, I'm assuming, big adult year <laughs> Animal Crossing hype. Um, yeah, adult. Isn't that funny? You say, like, all oh, my teen years, and it's, like, this whole huge chunk of time, because that's how I think of my teen years. And then, like, adult years all blend together, and it's like, what did I do? I don't even know how old I am. What? Um... Okay, well that's Blue Bear's hot bod. I gotta stuff her leg. Probably not gonna be able to see this super well, but that's because of the way I have to hold it. Um. Bella, are you still talking about meme rules? Um, I mean, Lindsay Lohan's a real person, so I don't, I don't think that that comment's very valid. She go back to jail or anything? What, what is Lindsay Lohan doing nowadays? Lindsay Lohan, Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes was like my role model as a child and now it's like, oh, what happened to Amanda Bynes, you know? I love her movies still, but it's just like one of those things where it's like, what? Um, but yeah. I cannot wait either. I am like, I am so ready to disappear into this game. Like, I am so sick of real life and so over, like, all this crap that I've been dealing with that I'm like, um, okay, I'm ready to disappear <laughs> to New Horizons and pursue my life with animals. Um, not even joking. Adulting is stupid. I mean, it's better than the alternative. But it still sucks. Too much crap. Um, I am going to be streaming New Horizons, Carrie. I will be streaming... Right now, I have planned to begin streaming um, for sure on the following Tuesday. However, I took that weekend off from work. That's how hyped I am for this game. And I feel like... I don't know that I'll stream day of... Because that's Mario Party and Friday night is for sure Mario Party. I feel like I want to establish things and don't want to like, you know, spoil things or something like day of. That's just kind of how I am. But the next day, um, I do want to stream it like on Saturday. So that's, I'm kind of planning like a, an impromptu stream on Saturday. I just don't have a time or anything. So I'm like, I don't know when that's going to be. So I didn't want to schedule it, but I probably should add that to my calendar. Like, hey, I'm planning to stream this game on Saturday. Um, but yeah, so I am very excited to see new villagers from New Horizons as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, yay, one leg, <laughs> one solid leg, um, I, what am I saying? But yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. I will for sure be playing the game for myself on release. I just don't know that I'm going to stream it on release day. Um, I'll probably wait till the next day to stream it. Sorry, I keep like, my nose keeps itching. I feel like there's a lot of fuzz and stuff. I'm like, you know. Um, 
Not meaning to do that hot nose wipe, you guys. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm super hyped. My Switch light case shipped today. See, my nose is still itchy. Why you itch? Anyway. I, my Switch light case that I pre-ordered for, it's the 3DS... Oh my god, I can't speak! Sorry, it is the new Horizons version um, of the, like, sleek Switch light case with, like, the little leaf pattern. I pre-ordered it after the Nintendo Direct because I was like, that's freaking adorable and I need a Switch light case, so there it is. Um, it shipped today, so I'm like, woo! I'm gonna get it in a few days. And my chair... Uh, for those of you who donated to my my gaming chair fund, it is supposed to arrive tomorrow. Here, I was thinking it would be like a couple weeks, and it literally only took like a few days. It's supposed to get here tomorrow, so I'm really hoping... Part of me hopes it does, and part of me hopes it doesn't, only because I'm, I have to work tomorrow afternoon. I kind of want to be home when they deliver it, but like, I'll have to double check the tracking. But either way, I'm big excited. And that means I'll have it for Friday. So I'm like, oh, thank God, new chair. My back needs the it. Is an attitude. Um, how you feel. Is oh, pineapple, pineapple for fun with that sub hype. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Ba family yet again. And with your big mamar. Love it. Big excite. Thank you so much. I give you all the Ba's. Oh my gosh, for sure. Go for that's awesome. I'm glad your show is going well. It, it's funny because it seemed like you literally just auditioned. Like it seemed like just the other day you were like, hey, I'm auditioning for this show. And now it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's here. I'm performing in it. It's like, that is crazy how quickly, how quickly those things go. It's always like that though. Okay, there's... Seven and gosh. Okay, really? How did I do this before? These stitches are so tiny. I swear I don't usually screw up like this when it comes to making my stitches too tight. Um, but yeah. What is this song? I can't even tell what it is. It's obviously like a a remixed Oh crap, I did that wrong. A remixed version of something, but some random Animal Crossing song. Okay, one, two. I love this song too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. There is number eight. Okay, I just have to do something weird for this side. To make it not look dumb. Blue Bear, why is your crotch so complicated? Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm like trying to make this not look stupid because it's wanting to collapse in on itself and I don't want that, so no. <laughs> so, speaking of like donation goals and stuff, I changed my new goal to be for the Animal Crossing Switch. I'm assuming it'll re-release at some point, so it's, since all the pre-orders have sold out, that seems a little silly to me if it wouldn't, and it'd be like, well, if you didn't pre-order it, then you just don't get it. Um, but I really want to uh, trade my... I don't know that I'll actually, like, literally trade it in. I'll probably sell it on eBay or something because you can always get, like, more money for your systems on eBay than you can from like going into GameStop but apparently mine is like a 
Walmart exclusive, and so that makes it worth a little bit more. So I'm able to offset the cost by quite a bit. So I just made the donation goal the cost after the GameStop trade-in value, because that's probably where I would like start the bid or something. Um, but yeah, I just like transferred all of my data from my main Switch to my Switch Lite. And I've been meaning to post this on Twitter because I know there pro probably some of you here even know. I'm not really sure because I want to stream. I want to stream New Horizons like when it comes out. But I've heard all these weird things about like, oh, you can't play it on both of your Switch systems. Like, so what does that mean? Like, I have to play it on my like home console like my main switch because that's the one I have to stream from I can't stream from the switch light and if I get a different switch am I not able to transfer that data is it pointless like I'm so confused so I'm like I really don't understand how that works um so yeah I don't know I need to word that better and post it on Twitter and ask but Phantom Tempest um Thank you so much. Yeah, Blue Bear is, is coming along, getting her second leg on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I thought it's just you have two islands with two switches. Is it? Because that's what I was wondering. I don't know if it's like, I don't know how it works, Pixie. That's why I was like, what do I do? Help me. Because if that's the case, it's like, hey, I'm going to start this sweet town and that's not really going to be it because I'm possibly trading in my Switch for this other Switch, so... I don't know. But that's the thing. If it were available, like, great, but it's not available, so who knows when it will be. Sucks. But, I don't know. I've heard so many weird things about it that I really don't even know the answer. So, uh, Joel Teron, you're heading out for now? All right. Well, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out for a little bit. Ha, 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 ha. After this leg, I'm going to start working on her dress. I know she doesn't have arms yet, but I feel like I need a change of color. A new experience a bit. Um, so... But yeah, that, that makes it really complicated for anybody who's getting, like, the Animal Crossing Switch, too. Because it's like, what if they don't get it right away? It's like, cool. I can't play my actual town on this Switch. I'm confused. So. I know. Same. Phantom Tempest. Same. For sure. These... Legs and arms and limbs always get easier the, the further you get into it. That crotch space is like the worst. It's so difficult. Crotches are difficult, guys. Let's be real. Um, but yeah. You should also have a tree as a special edition. What? What does that mean? I'm so confused. I don't know what that means. Um. Is there more about not playing Animal Crossing your main? Huh? Armand, have you, I, I don't know what you're asking. Were you not here for my explanation over the whole Switch thing? Because I play mostly on my Switch Lite, like, that's what I will play my main town on. But if it's not transferable to my home Switch console, I'm not going to be able to stream that town. But I thought that it was one town per Nintendo account, which is why I was like, well, am I going to be able to stream it at all? Like, is it just going to be like, well, you have this game? That doesn't make any sense. So, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping my native fruit is a peach. Because... Despite the character Peach, I absolutely love peaches in real life. So, um, they are like one of my favorite fruits, funnily enough. But, 
two, three. Hold on. Am I going over with these blue rows? Am I making this leg too long? I think I am. I need to switch to white, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I had to make sure I was like not making this leg way longer than the other one on accident. Um, when Blue Bear got stuck in a tree. Oh, you mean like for the, I thought you meant, I was like, what? I thought you were talking about in the game. I was like, huh? How do I make a special edition tree in my town? Now I know what you're saying. You're saying I should crochet a tree. That went way over my head. I'm sorry for being a total doof. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, peaches from their native land. Like we would always get peaches on the side of the road in South Carolina on our way to Myrtle Beach. And they are like are the most godly fruits in the like nothing tastes like that that's the most amazing taste so so good um so i absolutely love peaches but it's like nothing tastes like that it's just like when i lived in florida when i would get oranges oh my god no orange tastes like a florida orange from florida in season Th those are the best things ever they're so good too but i prefer even the peach over that I really do like oranges too, but if I could pick any fruit, it'd be strawberries because strawberries are my favorite fruit, which you can get native here in the summer and pick off the vine and eat and they taste, again, godly. They taste like nothing. You could even imagine it's so good. So, so good. So, eat fruits from their native lands is the lesson of the day. If a fruit is local, eat it. Or go get some. I don't know. Because you will not have anything like that anywhere else from the grocery store or whatever. They'll be good, but they won't be that good. Guaranteed. But yeah. That's what people say about... I think um, in Hawaii, I've heard people say, like, you have never had a banana in your life until you've had a banana from Hawaii. And I believe it. I believe it. Every time I go to buy bananas, I forget to eat them. Like, they're one of those fruits that they sit out. Like, I can see them. There they are, sitting there, staring at me, and I still forget to eat them. I'm like, ah. Oh. That was cool. That was a fun experience, you know, buying this fruit so I could throw it away, like, seven days later. I love doing that. <laughs> so, cool. That's what ends up happening, though. All right, so Blue Bear's little white feet. Footsies are done. Now I gotta stuff those legs. Stuff that leg. Hashtag Slim's leg. I still don't even remember why that became a thing. I probably say that every time I mention it, but like I really don't remember why his leg became a thing. I don't know if it was just a product of delirium or what, but... It was a leg. He really did send a picture of his leg, though. <laughs> uh, lemons are my best. Oh, I love lemons, too. But if strawberries end up in New Hampshire, I'd 100% get them. I love strawberries. Nice. I love the strawberries. Um, my favorite fruit is a strawberry. Love peaches, obviously, but oh my god, they have to be like homegrown or forget it. Um, I also love raspberries. Those are like my top three fruits. Although when I get fruit flavored stuff, a lot of the time I don't get peach flavored because like it doesn't taste as good again. So if it goes for like, if I were to get a smoothie, I'd get like strawberry banana or chocolate banana or something over peach. I'm a very berry person, so like any kind of berry combination I tend to go for. In candy or smoothies or whatever. 
Uh, raspberry can taste like cotton candy pretty easily too, which is like one of my favorite things. So, no, no, not New Hampshire. New Horizons. I thought you go for everything you're saying is being taken literally in the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm in a weird headspace. I'm like, oh, you live in New Hampshire. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's been a day, you guys. It's been a week. It's been quite the year already. I need a break. Because clearly I am broken. Broken. I'm broken. This song's cute too. This sounds like, um,. This always reminds me of Drip Drip Drop Little April Showers from Bambi. Dun, 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 which I always thought was such a cute song for like a rainy day. <laughs> drip Drip Drop and the sky is falling. Do, 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 Shout outs to Bambi. Oh, um. Your favorite fruits are bananas, strawberries, plums are good. Mango I don't care for so much. I do love pineapple, especially sauteed. Oh my god, sauteed pineapple, the best. And watermelon in the summer. Fourth of July hype, that's like my fruit. Fourth of July, it's all about that melon. It's funny because I tend to not go for like watermelon candy except those big i don't know if you guys know what these are but they're like jumbo laffy taffies they're jumbo watermelon laffy taffy they have little candy seeds in them and it's watermelon flavor oh my god it's so good it's so good i love those watermelon candy things okay so this is blue bear's bod with her legs um i'm covering up her legs sorry so she just needs arms and a tail, but we are actually going to get started on her little um, buffalo plaid shirt, which I'm just pulling up a little image so I know which. Uh... Okay, it looks like it starts with lemon yellow and butter yellow, and then goes to lemon yellow and white, so, okay. Uh, okay, let's see. One, two. I think I did 16 around at the beginning. So that means that we will need to do 16 around here. I love this song so much. One, two, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Uh, peach iced tea? I'm not an iced tea person. I love hot tea, but I really don't care for iced tea, to be perfectly honest. Um, what do I want to do for this? Just a row of single crochet before we get into the pattern. <laughs> that can be too big though. And I don't think I can do that actually. Okay, never mind. So. out again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we need an extra two chains. 17, 18. Actually, 
I think we're gonna have to do 18 anyway. 18. Sorry, I'm doing math right now, guys. Whoa, big raid hype. MT with that raid. Aw, oh, thanks so much for the raid. Sorry, I was I like pressured you earlier to be like, play this game. Um or else I'm leaving. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> it was a very interesting game. That's a that that's that's about all I can say, but thank you for the raid. Almost to Space Michael. It's pretty hype. I mean, Michael Jackson did work on like some Sega games, so... Can't say I'm surprised. That's really awesome, though. Um, yeah, big almost Space Michael. But yeah, I hope you had a good... Good stream. A good time. Okay, why am I doing this stupidly? I keep doing dumb things, you guys. Okay, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 
Um. Oh my gosh, smooth ice cream. I can't handle that big chunk. Like, it's just like, you don't want to be eating a smooth dessert and then you crunch into some big, like, hard thing. Like, ew. Uh, it's so bad. Like, I can't do, like, I like nuts on their own. Like, I like you guys, but like, I can't do them in dessert. I'm like, no, I need a smooth dessert experience. Like, I can't have... I can't have nuts in my dessert. Like, it's- it makes it nasty. So... Nah. Um, why does this look short now? <sighs> maybe I should have gone double, guys! Uh, okay, maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to make these freaking things long enough. And it's all like, are you man enough? I'm not. What am I talking about now? Okay, so now I gotta switch to white. <laughs> so ice cream in a cone or a bowl? Oh, I, if I'm going in a bowl, there better be hot fudge in it. Otherwise, a cone is fine, but I don't care. Either one. But yeah. You love eating nuts in like turtle candies, otherwise you're not a big fan. Yeah, I mean, like those are okay, yeah, but I can't do nuts like in my ice cream or in my cake or stuff. Well, who puts nuts in a cake? That's kind of stupid, but like people with nuts and brownies, I don't like brownies anyway, so it's like, mm. but okay, I gotta add the white in, you guys. Big whitey! Uh. Uh, oh, I'm like, why is this looking wrong? Jeez. I'm messing everything up now. So many yarn tails. So little time. Beep, beep, boop. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so now we're to white and lemon. Which will make a lot more sense here in a second. It's all for that buffalo print. That buff plaid, yo. Which is like a short buff plaid for the moment. Okay, once I get all these freaking tails out of the way, it'll be a lot easier. Right now the tails are wanting to cramp my style. Anyway. Okay, sorry guys. Ooh, I do love banana nut bread. Banana nut bread is hype. And I can handle the nuts on top. But... We're in it. Sometimes they're in it and they're not bad. But walnuts tend to be like... Softer. In dessert. You know, like a hard shell soft center. Anyway. Um... Okay, bye Kirby Cart. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a good night. Okay, I gotta get this first these first two rows done and then you guys will be able to like really see the the plaid pattern working it out. Um, and this makes it easy because I just carry it up. Yes, Buffalo. 
Buffalo ladies. Are you ready? Um. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Okay. Uh. Aw, oh, Sirius came and cuddled in my lap right after he ended stream. He was like, Mom, look at me. Okay, so you can see, like, how... It's really light, so it's a little hard to tell, but, like, there is definitely, like, a little bit of color variation going on to make this buffalo plaid. But, yeah. Oh, I love pistachios. They're so good. They're really good. Uh, oh, I just messed up that last one, though. So, yeah, I'm basically just going to be repeating this plaid pattern for the entire little little shirt or little dress, however you want to identify this piece of clothing. I love that the Animal Crossing characters are getting, like, full outfits in the new game. It's not just like, oh, they just wear a shirt or they just wear a scarf or whatever. It's like, now they're wearing, like, full outfits with accessories and I'm just so hyped for it. I, I love, love what I've seen. So it makes me very, very happy. Maybe I should have done this. Okay. But yeah. Now we need white. I shouldn't have to flip these around like this, but I'm doing things. Wait, I had it right the first time. What the heck? Okay. Sorry. Figuring out patterns. While streaming. There we go. Okay, so yeah, there's the first little, like, three rows of little buffalo plaid. Diesel, Valentine! What's up? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I didn't put any armholes in. Let me see what's going on with this. It's going to be weird seeing the sheep wearing other things other than scarves. I know, that's true. Like, I had Petro in my town, and he was so cute in his little scarf. Um. Yeah, so, once she has arms. But I think I probably need some armholes. Um. She can't be armless blue bear. Be like a custom order. Can I get an armless blue bear? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Armless <laughs> blue bear is pretty. Armless blue bear is pretty, pretty pimp. Well, thank you. Uh, except I think I'm gonna have to take out like. A bunch of this to make armholes now. Whoops! Didn't mean to do it, you guys! Um. Yeah. Okay, so. What did I just do? I finished this row and then I messed up a bunch. I might have to just start over on on this piece all to all together because I I kind of want the the buffalo to be a little bit longer too. Or you know what? I don't need to start over, but I do need to start the second row over. Um which is kind of like starting over. <laughs> you guys are like, "What are you talking about?" Okay. So we have two and two. 
two and two and then an armhole? I don't know. We'll see how it works out. We'll see how it works out. Just trust me on this, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out all the stops for you. Don't you worry. Um, figuring this out is not the easiest thing. Oh crap! What am I doing? Did anybody do anything special for Mario Day? I celebrated by playing Animal Crossing for you all. This, like, classic Mario game, obviously. Um, but, you know, what did you guys do? Hmm. Trying to envision this. Yeah, I don't know. You worked and completely forgot it was Mario Day. <laughs> yes, solid. Sounds about right. What is this ba, Pixie? What is that? Is that like a red bow? Like what in the world? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is because this is taking a little more concentration than I anticipated and I have kind of messed up the pattern and I need to rework it so that it does have armholes. Um, I'm just gonna do this next. Um, because I am probably going to call it a night here because it is like almost 11.30 and I, I have to, to work tomorrow and get ready for bed and all that. But, um, so I'm gonna start. It's a red banana, oh my god, wow. Uh, I'm gonna start wrapping it up here just so that I can, you know, not be just sitting here rambling to myself about figuring out this pattern. But I will get Blue Bear some arms and a tail. I'll get her a shirt and then she'll be all, all fancy and all good to go. So, um, whoa, there's my hand. Sorry. Yeah, it's been a it's been a lovely stream though, you guys. Um, but yeah, I I just needed like a kind of kind of casual like chill night to just hang out and do something fun, and this gave me a little bit of an excuse to do that. So I appreciate it um, for everybody who stopped by. Let's go ahead and I know Slim and Odin are streaming together, so. Since I rarely get the opportunity to raid Odin, we'll go ahead and and raid him now. Um, they are playing Super Mario Maker 2. Oh my gosh, when I backed up my Switch save data, I accidentally saved an older file of freaking <laughs> Super Mario Maker 2, like over my newer file. I'm like, wow, that was cool. I'm glad I did this. Um, so I guess we'll just be, matter of fact, and we'll just hashtag Blue Bear. So that is our, our stream, or our raid message. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, sorry, I, I probably seem a little, like, low on energy. 
Um, but hopefully you guys had a good time and just were able to relax. I've had a good time. It was a, it was a nice night. So thank you so much. Thank you to uh, go for for all the gift subs and to everybody who who subbed and followed tonight. I appreciate all your support. I will see you on Friday at 8 p.m. for the first installment of Mario Party 2 with Friday Night Mario Party. So let's get this raid started. Uh, and thank you to Madam Toadstool for the raid as well. Big, big love you guys. Have a great night. Bye.